Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and we need to talk about the Spectrum or Doe Spectrum uh, new 4K OLED monitor, 32 inch that's out. That's getting a lot of people talking about it in the press. I mean, they even released an email. I'm on their email list. I did buy one of their monitors back in the day. I, you know, gave it a good review. And then I had to create another video about the Doe disappointment, and I will link that video as long as I remember in. Um, in the annotations or whatever it's called here up on top. So be sure to go check out the video so you get a little bit of background of what I'll be talking about here. But um, with the recent things happening, if you're going to be looking at this monitor and wanting to go get it, realize that there have been a lot of people that seem to be burned on the monitors that they have ordered here where they've either not given refunds or not been shipping them out, et cetera. And, um, you know, the shipping out or the shipping delays, I don't know if they're just so far delayed that they haven't got it out yet. That's just something to keep in mind. While Doe has a head start because they're getting a lot of pre-orders at such a low entry cost that you, you're going to be, you know, it's going to look like a really good deal but if they don't deliver on that, that could also be a empty promise. So that's something to keep in mind here. I am all for supporting the new guy, the, you know, a smaller company and getting him up. I just don't like being toyed with or not getting a response back from them either. I have emailed them. There is an open question to them still since the last video that I had mentioned that has not been responded to and I don't want a customer to go through that same issues that others have had and commented on that video with. In fact, my review, the reason why I looked into it was because somebody did point that out and say, hey, have you seen this lately, right? I wasn't affected by it, so I'm not saying everyone will be. I got my product, a, a friend of mine got his product. I've been using it for a while, The back when it was called Eve and they had to change the name. So that, that is a concerning mark and or concerning point and just to keep in mind if you're going to be going and pre-ordering. So now I'm going to jump over and just show you what it is so you guys know what I'm talking about. And this is pre-orders for their 32 inch, it's their Spectrum Black for 32 inch starting at $699. If you want you can um, you sign in your email here and well, and you'll be able to be on the waiting list. And when that list comes out, I think then you can pre-order it. And so they are look. They have a 27 inch, which I believe is 1440p, and then 32 inch, which will be 4K and OLED. They features here. Uh, this is what it looks like. So it kind of looks like their other monitors. It's going to be 32 inches, 4K OLED, Corning glass cover, 240 hertz. USB-C with 100 watt char charging dis dis display, HDR, True Black 400, G-Sync, and FreeSync Premium. It sounds good, right? This is going to be a third gen W OLED screen, uh, and they're going with the covered glass, I believe. So, th you know, it looks pretty, pretty nice, right? A pretty good thing. So here's the. Here's a 27 inch, and I believe this one was 1440p. Yeah, so but I'm focused on the 4K one because that's what I have. So it's 31 and a half inch diagonal, 32 inches. It's going to be a peak brightness of uh, 450, but if you want to go 3% of the screen, you can get up to a thousand and for the HDR. Okay, um, 10 bit. This is all the display stuff, there's all the connection ports. You notice that they're still deciding on the display uh, port input. Um, that's to be announced, so we'll see what that goes there. But this is just a little bit on this monitor, and I'm going to go back over. I haven't signed up for exclusive access and pricing at all yet. Let's just jump over. That's what it is. That's what they're saying with, you know, I'm sure LG and Samsung are going to have something comparable and other monitor companies out there probably more expensive probably more to what the ending cost is going to be on this monitor if you want to take a chance on this make sure you are putting it on something that you can get a refund through that not that's not necessarily through them 
credit card, stuff like that. Um, th this is going to be my one concern. I want to put this out there because I don't want a whole bunch of users to get burned on a product that sounds really good. And I, I hope that they're correcting their issues, but I have not heard anything to the contrary of correcting their issues. So I wanted to put this out there so everyone can be cautious if if they are going to go through and get the monitor. I, I don't want you guys burned and losing money on something that uh, that a company should have did better with to begin with. That's not fair to you guys, and it's, you know, the company should be held to a higher standard than just, you know, not living up to what they said they were going to do. So if you go do order this, let me know. If you are if you actually receive it, <laughs> I know that this is way in the future, but if you do receive it, let me know how it is. I am I am probably going to sit out on this one. I as much as it is a 4K OLED that I really want. Um I, I'm sure that there's going to be other companies coming out with them and maybe I go in that direction. Uh, I mean, it's what I'm looking for. I have an OLED TV, and I just really enjoy gaming on it. It is just a such a great experience, even compared to this monitor, this 4K monitor, which has a better graphics card than my Xbox and you know Xbox Series X. So, it, but just the just the colors and everything on that OLED screen are amazing. So. You know, that's something I really want, but am I willing to go with something that I know I'm hearing so many users and they're contacting me, you know, it's, it's saying, hey, I'm having this issue with this company. And when you contact the company, they're not getting back to you like they should. And they also leave questions opened up. Is that really the best foot to maybe make a purchase of your company on something that he's going to be watching every day and you have a warranty issue or whatever else and you don't get service? that could be a big point. So I want to put this out there. Maybe Doe will go through and change their ways, revamp, get some new checks involved to make sure that this is all going. But let me know if that does happen um, to you. And if you do have issues, let me know. I'm open to hearing all your issues that you are having out there. Even if you have them with a different company, I'll take a look into it. I think that getting a better product out for consumers along with customer service is crucial. And your money is valuable to you and what you spend it on for products you should get. You shouldn't have to worry about jumping through hoops to try to get your products back or get your money back when that product doesn't deliver. And so I'm here going to help you guys look into it. Heck, help me too because I don't want to get my money burned. It's just, <laughs> it's valuable to me. So with that, thank you so much for watching and sh sharing the video, subscribing, helping out Gray Overload. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, God bless.